I left some trash on the bed. Good job, Jessica. <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a like nursery tour slash I guess master bedroom tour um, inevitably but only because our nursery for the baby is in our bedroom we are sharing a room with the baby I've mentioned before I usually co-sleep with my babies so the chances of them actually like sleeping in this crib are not very high although I am hopeful so I promised you guys I would do this video and this is going to be like a before like before baby nursery tour because things always change you always like find different spots for things as like after the baby's here so this is just gonna be like a before I guess of what we have for the baby's nursery I don't really know where to start you walk in the door here and then we have um it's not like super huge but we have like the little bathroom here and then I don't know it's nothing fancy really this thing Chris got me it is awesome it's like for my makeup it's huge I don't even own this much makeup and I can't figure out where to put it so if anybody has any ideas kind of just sits there so then behind here we usually hang towels up here but they're all in the wash today and then in there is just a bathroom nothing too special but right when you first walk in you have our bathroom and then over here when you walk in we just have this little like I don't know we have like a bunch of little things hanging up everywhere it says forever up there and then in here is the closet our closet is like packed to the fullest right now because we have all of the home birth stuff in here and then I had like this is like a jewelry vanity type thing and you open it and it has my jewelry in it um, usually I have it out but in order to fit all the stuff in the room for the baby it's kind of been shoved into the closet currently so that is our mess of a closet nothing nothing too special so right when you walk in this is what you see and you can walk in this way and so I guess we'll start with the baby stuff over here so this is what we are using for the baby's nursery as you can tell the theme of our whole room is yellow and gray so starting over here we just have a white dresser that we keep the baby's clothes in everything that's in there was in my baby haul video um, a few weeks ago so go check it out if you want to go in there I'm not going to go through each drawer then up here I have a little yellow lamp for the baby and then I have just a sonogram picture in, in that frame right there and then this thing I found at Target and I thought it was so cool and it's like a little a nice little use for space and it's huge because like we have so much space back here still that is not being used but it's like for diapers and wipes and stuff like that I just have some like diaper rash cream some lotion some desitin and then some like shampoo and then this is I don't even know what this is but I thought it was pretty cool it's hand sanitizer spray and then some baby powder and then over here on the side here we got just one of those tiny little cubicle things and then in the top section I have just kind of like random stuff I have like bibs and then all of the pictures from all the sonograms that we've had and then like a little rattle this is just like the random stuff in here some blankets some more blankets some washcloths stuff like that and then in the middle here I just keep some of our big soft blankets and we actually have more but this is just what I'm keeping in here right now. And then the bottom, I just have a bunch of diapers. And then this is the baby's crib. The crib set that we got only came with the sheet. Did it come with the sheet? I think it came with the sheet. And then it came with this little comforter and then like the bed skirt. And I think that was, oh, and then this little blanket right here. And then this blanket, I believe we actually got from Ross. And then Chris's mom got us that big old elephant thing. It'd be cute to take like newborn pictures with or something. And then these pillows actually came with my bed set, but I don't really keep a lot of pillows on my bed. So I kind of just put them in there. They're obviously not going to stay in there because you shouldn't have um, pillows in there if you have a newborn sleeping in there. But that's just kind of <laughs> where they're at right now. And then these up here, I actually got these from Target up here. And what we did is we took the rope off and we spray painted them the correct colors. By we, I mean Chris. <laughs> painted them the correct colors to match our crib set so originally they were like mint and like a pinky color and then like a cream color we took the rope off of them and bought like this pastel yellow a gray and a white and then put the rope back on and then hung them up because I was having the hardest time figuring out what in the heck to hang above this crib I just couldn't find anything that matched so um and I really like this like those little arrows that's what we ended up doing for that and then I want to like hang a picture or something right here I just haven't decided 
what yet. I haven't really found anything. Like I said, I've been having a hard time finding stuff that match. And then over here, we just have a bunch of stuff for the baby that are still, it, the stuff that's still in boxes. And nap and play, and we have a boppy, and we have a little um, bathtub down there and stuff like that. We just have anything that's in boxes that hasn't been opened yet, we kind of keep over there in the corner. So then we have our bed set here, and it looks kind of odd because originally it was in the center of the bedroom, but obviously with the crib in here, we had to move it over. And I cannot for the life of me figure out what in the heck to hang above this bed. So if anybody has any ideas, definitely let me know because I don't know, I was kind of thinking like a mirror or something. And then I was thinking maybe some kind of like vinyl to hang above it, but I don't know. I'm just having a hard time figure out, figuring out what to hang up there. So over here we have my dresser. I just have some like candles and this little like rose thing. And then we have these little cup holders and a picture. And then over on this side, Chris in his simplicity has just a alarm clock and a lamp and then one of his cup holders as well. And then this is actually, this actually goes to our baby monitor that we haven't really set up yet. We just have a little picture frame over here and some curtains obviously and a little rug. And this is what we're gonna use to like rock the baby to sleep. It's just kind of a little like, I don't know, rocker for the baby. And we have an air filter. For some reason, me and all my kids always sleep with air filters. Um, it Mostly just for the white noise of it. So then over here, we just have our dresser and we just hung like a little wreath up there and we have a little picture right here. And I'm not gonna go through all these drawers because it's stuff like underwear and socks that you probably don't wanna see. So <laughs> yeah, there's our dresser right there. And again, we're just continuing with the yellow and the white and the gray theme and that's pretty much it. So then you go back to over here. So it's not huge, like I said, but it works, it fits everything. I have gotten a lot of questions as far as like long-term what we plan to do for the baby and it kind of depends on if it's a boy or a girl and what our living situation is going to be. We do want to move eventually. It kind of just all depends. It depends on the personality of the baby. It depends on the gender of the baby. It depends on who the baby gets along with. And then at some point, it will most likely be sharing a room with either like Lilia or maybe Landon, or I don't know, that's that's all just up in there. So to everyone who has asked that question, the answer is I have no idea. <laughs> just something that we kind of figure out as we go along. So that is what the, our nursery looks like so far for this baby. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have any suggestions, I am always open to suggestions especially with decorating because I suck at decorating <laughs> like I don't know I just I have a really hard time so make sure you follow me on Facebook snapchat and Instagram and I will talk to you guys for our next video bye it definitely felt more like a real contraction rather than just like a Braxton Hicks and the fact that they were six minutes apart all night I just kind of like forced myself to fall asleep and when I woke up they were gone